It's the finally Friday edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. December the 1st, we've turned the calendar to a new month and a new season, at least in terms of the you know, meteorological and climatological seasons. We consider winter to be December, January, and February. A couple of reasons for that. Tidy re- uh, record keeping. Those seasons always begin and end on the same day. The astronomical seasons, there's a little bit of variance. And it's, you know, it's just a, an easy way to remember uh, what season you're in when you know it always begins and ends on the first day and last day of certain months. So with autumn in the rear view mirror now, we did a little review of November last evening. I wanted to touch on just how dry autumn was, not only locally, but in most of the eastern U.S. These are the percentage of average precipitation values. Going back to September the 1st, it was very, very dry in parts of the south. Around here, it was dry. In fact, it was our driest autumn season, meteorological autumn, September through November. Uh, that we've had since 1991, 32 years ago. Uh, so it was dry here, but it was quite a bit worse off to the uh, south. Now, it was a pretty wet season across the High Plains, front range of the Rockies. But yeah, east of the Mississippi, pretty dry stuff with the exception of some places along the eastern seaboard. We're into, uh, again, meteorological winter, the three coldest months of the year. And our averages bottom out uh, in terms of those 30-year averages in the month of January, around the middle of the month. Now, we just got a new set of 30-year averages a couple of years ago. Now our averages are based on 1991 to 2020. And with that new set of averages taking effect a couple of years ago, uh, some of these numbers changed. It used to be our coolest average high was 32 degrees during the middle of January. Now it's 34 degrees. And a lot of these numbers, of course, have gone up as the climate has warmed and our uh, temperatures have responded over the last couple of decades. And of course, Compared to the average, we've had a string now of pretty warm winter seasons. Now, 2017, 2018 was pretty close to average. The last year was one of the warmest on record and the warmest since uh, early last century. It's been since uh, the late 30s, early 40s, since we had a winter uh, like last winter. But generally speaking, ever since a flip in the uh, overall scheme of things here during the middle of last decade, our winters have been pretty mild. We had some pretty severe winters in parts of the uh, 2000s. And in the middle of last decade, we had two harsh winters in a row, 2013 and 14, 14 and 15. And the last handful since then have been generally quite mild with just a couple of exceptions. Our winter forecast was released about three weeks ago. We're going to do an update on that forecast maybe towards the tail end of next week. As we get some uh, new model data in, we'll take a look at the original forecast and see if we need to make any adjustments. Overall, though, as of December the 1st, I kind of like the ideas. Pretty mild uh, December, especially the first half of December, and perhaps a much, much different flavor to things after the first of the year and heading into January and February. In the meantime, today was a wet day, although this behaved pretty much as expected with the rain tapering off quickly during the afternoon. We didn't have much more than just a few patches of mist late this afternoon into early this evening. That was great news for the big crowds that are outside uh, our studios right now in downtown Youngstown uh, with all the festivities going on, the tree lighting, the parade, uh, the flea market, all sorts of stuff uh, happening. I think the number was, we're expecting about 10,000 people downtown. And so the weather cooperated. That was nice to see. Now, before the rain tapered off, we saw on average about two tenths of an inch, pretty uniform rain totals with this event. The rain moved a little faster than expected though. So it ended a little faster than expected. Uh, As a a general rule, uh, after about two o'clock, three o'clock, we were in pretty good shape. It was kind of chilly and pretty cloudy certainly, but all that steady rain pushed away. Now, as we head through the overnight tonight, there can be a re-emergence of some pockets of some drizzle and mist and light rain. That'll be the case tonight and into tomorrow morning as well. There's just enough uplift in the atmosphere and these low hanging clouds, it won't ask it won't be asking too much to, you know, have them produce a little bit of wet weather. Into tomorrow morning. Now by tomorrow afternoon, we're back to decent shape. I think it'll be dry tomorrow afternoon. That's the best part of the weekend to maybe do the outdoor lights and do any other things that involve being outdoors. Uh, you'll be in pretty decent shape tomorrow afternoon. Pretty mild. Get up into the lower and middle 50s tomorrow afternoon. Now, as we head into Sunday, a couple of changes to our forecast since uh, this time last evening for Sunday. Looks like there's going to be a little wave that comes along, uh, riding along an old front that is going to try to produce some rain Sunday morning. Now, this is just one model here, and this is a pretty aggressive look to things Sunday morning. Not sure if this is the right solution ultimately. I think the best chance for a little light rain will be mostly south and east of Youngstown. But either way, we have introduced the chance that Sunday starts out damp. We still hang on to the chance, though, pretty good chance, of seeing showers then Sunday afternoon as our cold front approaches. Now, that's a pretty strong front. 
Wouldn't be surprised if there was a rumble of thunder somewhere in eastern Ohio, and especially in western and central PA. Sunday afternoon, a little bit of instability in the atmosphere. Uh, some wind shear as well, so a little thunder will be a possibility, not something we see often or hear often in the month of December. Either way, though, uh, a damp second half of the day seems pretty likely Sunday. This will be followed by a much cooler air mass settling in behind this front for the first half of next week. It's going to look and feel like December with very little sunshine and occasionally a little bit of rain and a few wet snowflakes as well. Now, our hourly rain chances currently break down like this. We're going to take a look at the latest model data this evening and see if we need to further increase our Sunday morning rain chances. But as of now, we have them on the lower side with higher rain chances Sunday afternoon. The Saturday rain chances again peak early. The afternoon should be just fine, albeit fairly cloudy and not very nice looking outside, but you won't need that heavy winter jacket. Before we leave you this evening, let's take a quick look at the longer range pattern here. This is the jet stream animation taking us through the end of next week, and we're going to stop all the way at the end of next week. Next Friday, about a week from right now, what we have going on here is a trough digging into the western U.S. Downstream of that, pretty strong ridge is going to try, try to develop. This is the feature that's going to usher in the mild air. In fact, the whole lower 48 states, with the exception of the Pacific Northwest and parts of uh, you know coastal California, will be mild next week as the uh, continent gets flooded with mostly Pacific air for a time. So this will be a, a pattern change that takes place at the end of next week, takes us through next weekend, and into parts of the following week as well, where it just does not look very cold at all for December. That's really the heart of our warm December pattern. It looks like it'll be during that second week of the month, parts of the third week of the month. Uh, maybe some changes, though, towards the end of the month. We talked about this some last evening on Weather for Weather Geeks, that the end of the month, right around the holidays, um, could be another pattern change, and this would be a colder change as opposed to the mild weather during the middle of the month. Now, are we going to have a rerun of last Christmas with wind chills of minus 30 and uh, rapid freeze up and winds gusting to 50 and 60 miles per hour and all that fun stuff we had last year? No, I wouldn't wouldn't expect that, but it's still you know quite possible that we're going to see a distinct turn to colder weather for a time towards the end of the month. But it's no cinch, it's no luck. We'll have much more to say about the longer range in future editions of this video. In the meantime, thank you for watching this evening. Have a great weekend. I'll see you back here for more Weather Geeks on Monday.